De dum 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 Lolly the llama was a little bit too much like a sheep. Lolly the llama was too tall. Lolly the llama had so many faces. I can't possibly draw them all. Lolly the llama has too many friends. How am I going to draw a pig? Lolly the llama, 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 Lolly the llama. Lolly the Lonely Llama, written by Nicole Craft, illustrated by Nicole Craft and Elizabeth Evans. Lolly the Llama was lonely. Lolly the Llama was sad. Lolly the Llama thought Gordon the Goat was the only friend she had. I'm going to leave town, Lolly shouted one day. I'm going to the woods on the hill. Oh, Gordon, she cried as she packed her bag. I'll miss you. I really will. Why don't I come too, said Gordon. Adventures aren't fun alone. Let us trip trap together and make some new friends. We can find a new place to call home. So off they both set with their bags and their hats and a few special things for good luck. They marched through the gate at a furious rate and ran straight into Dita the duck. Hi Lolly, hi Gordon, said Dita. My goodness, you are in a rush. We're off to the woods to find some new friends, the pair blurted out with a blush. Now Dita thought this was a brilliant plan and gathered some things of her own. I've always wanted to find some new pals and now I won't be alone. Her bag and umbrella tucked under her wing, she skipped down the lane with a jig. As she rushed to catch Lolly and Gordon, she flapped right into Percy the pig. Percy noted the details of Dita's exciting quest. He had problems with a nearby wolf who was really becoming a pest. He got straight on the phone to his brothers, who stuffed some supplies in a sack. With their hankies on sticks, filled with straw, wood and bricks, they all followed along at the back. As the animals walked a bit further, they started to form quite a crowd. Excitement was flowing, the line ever growing, and the chatter had got very loud. See, the pigs had told Tanav the tiger, who was on his way out to tea. Then Tanav told Snake, Snake told Frog, and Frog told the blind mice, all three. The mice told the hens in the hen house, and their clucks made the horses aware. The news made its way through the farmyard, and soon all of the townsfolk were there. As the line reached the house of the wise old owl, the last on the road out of town, Owl, on her perch, opened both of her eyes and looked at them all with a frown. Why, Lolly, where are you all going? To the woods on the hill, she replied. I've heard we can find lots of friends there, so we're leaving, just Gordon and I. I see, said Owl as she tilted her head. Just you and Gordon, you say? And mind I ask if you have passed any others along the way? Lolly and Gordon looked up at Owl, confused at her reply. Why, yes, said Lolly, we saw a friend and quickly said goodbye. I think you should turn around, said Owl, if you wouldn't mind. Lolly couldn't believe her eyes as she turned to look behind. To her surprise, there were animals lined as far as the eye could see. My goodness, Gordon, look, are they all following you and me? You see, said Owl, I think you'll find you had friends all along. You needed to look closer, back home, where you all belong. If everybody in this line made friends with just one more, then no one would be short of friendly faces at their door. Not one of them could argue as they turned to head back home. A town of friends there all along, if only they had known. From that day on, the whole town smiled and weekly they would meet to eat and play with friends at one big party in the street. The End